I am not sure that dredging the River Niger and the River Benue is a solution. My recollection is that previous governments have attempted or they did claim to have dredged the River Niger and River Benue. But every flood this season, the river gets seated up. And so dredging the river does not in any way stop the consequences of uh, the Cameroonians releasing excess water from their own dam. I do understand, I recall that in a previous conversation earlier in the year or late last year, our attention was drawn to this matter and we had extensive debate. My recollection is that the conclusion we reached then, which I still think we should revisit now, or rate read now, is that the dam that Nigeria was supposed to build to collect the water arising from overflow from the Cameroon Dam. That, for me, is the way to go, and that is the last solution to this problem. Dredging doesn't stop flooding. On the contrary, flooding we help to resilt the uh, dredge river. And like you know, sir, in the south-south, the easiest way to throw money out is to do dredging and uh, desilting. You desilt today, by next week, it's seated back. So I think that, uh, that, that bridge that Nigeria was supposed to build, and I understand the, 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 the decision was taken. Some preliminary work started many, many years ago, but like several other initiatives it was abandoned. I think we, the Senate should take the position that that, that uh, um, second dam be built. That is the last solution. Dredging will amount to throwing money away every year. I don't think that is the solution. Thank you, Mr. President. The students college, Adama South, I rise to support this motion and uh, to add that uh, the issue of flooding is a perennial problem that uh, we see every rainy season. And uh, the solution to this problem is to actually take measures that will reduce the flooding that uh, takes place every year. We have on this floor a number of times recommended the dredging of rivers Benue and Niger. Uh, I see in the prayer that uh, uh, the distinguished senator is asking for dredging of River Niger. The problem of floods in Delta states and Bielsa states and all the states in the South South are because of the flood that occurs as a result of the release of water from the uh, Lag Dodam in Cameroon. So, unless we put in measures that will uh, uh, mitigate this problem, we will always have the issue of flooding. So, I suggested dredge rivers Niger and Benue. Also, construct the Dancing Hausa Dam that was supposed to be a buffer dam on the Nigerian side that will control the water released from the Cameroon Dam. So, unless we do these things, every year we are continuing to have uh, uh, floods in uh, the basins of Benue and Niger. Thank you. Looking at the entire country, time in, time out, we talk about floods and the negative activities that impose in the country. I will also talk about mitigation. We talk about recovery plan. I want to recommend a situation where we have a last lasting solution for this menace. We should encourage planting of trees. We should also encourage cleaning of canals, which are the possible or cause of this problem we have. Because today is in River State, tomorrow we'll be talking about Ondo State, where we have floods coming from the 
Niger data, I mean Niger area effects down to Ose and Elegbeka area in Owo on those states. So why can't we look the entire package of the causes of floods in Nigeria and address it once and for all so that the idea of recovery plan, mitigation plan, will not be the issue. We can sit down and solve the problem once and for all. On this note, Mr. President and my distinguished senators, I'm supporting this motion. Thank you very much. Amos Johanna Adamao North. The issue of flooding, as the colleagues, my colleagues earlier spoke about, is something that is perennial, something that has been talked about also year in, year out, and almost at every occurrence of it. But I think we really need to work because the rains will continue to fall. The dams in Cameroon will overflow and be released, and it will flow through the Benue and come to Lokoja and meet with the one coming from River Niger, and it will continually be something that will be affecting people's lives. So I think it's to take action, just as it is suggested, that we need to dredge the two rivers, two major rivers, that meet in Lokoja and flow down to the Niger Delta. But before it even comes to Lokoja, so much damage has been done upstream. So I think, and I strongly suggest, that we go straight into looking ways for ways on doing things rather than just talking. I so submit, Mr. President. Thank you. This is Senator. Injury to everybody. Just very recently, the release of water from Lado Dam from Cameroon had devastating effect across board, which I believe this Senate went to condone with the people affected. And it's a global problem. Today we are talking about flooding even in America and the other Western world. It's not only involved in Nigeria. I think in going forward, we will look beyond the problem itself, but how to have a palliative measure because it's a natural disaster that must occur. The climatic change is part of the problem. There is more rainfall globally because of uh, climate change. More water will be released. All we need to do is to find a way of collecting this water that is being released naturally. That is where we'll be looking at. Water must be released because if it has to overflow, it's uh, uh, if the dam has to overflow, we need to find a way of collecting the excesses. That is where we have to be looking at by creating more dams, expanding the capacity of the existing ones to accommodate the excess water that is being released from the dam that we already have. We talk about the Oyan River being released the other day, just a few days ago. It has its own uh, effect on the environment. So I support this bill wholeheartedly, completely, that we look for a more lasting solution to it to accommodate this uh, natural disaster. I so submit. Thank you, Mr. President. The civil senator, Khalid Mustafa. Urge the federal government through the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to immediately provide emergency relief to the affected communities, including food, clean water, medical supplies, temporary shelters to address the urgent needs of displaced residents. Those in support of prayer, one say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two, call on the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management, and Social Development.
to expedite action on the establishment of fully equipped IDP camps in the flood uh, ravaged areas, as ensuring displaced persons are provided with safe and secure accommodations. Those in support of prayer to say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes are open. Prayer three. All the federal ministry of works to consider dredging the river Niger and constructing embankments along the floodplain to provide a lasting solution to the perennial flooding in the areas and other parts of the country affected by flood. Amendment. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Engineer Patrick Sain Dubuese, representing the Monarch. These number three prayers, I believe that we should amend it to urge the Federal Ministry of Works to consider dredging, desilting, and channelization. These are the proper works to be done. It's not even um, constructing embankment. The proper thing is to dredge the rivers that are necessary, River Niger, River Benue, to do what we call desilting, to do what we call channelization. Once it's done, the water will flow properly. We, and this will help us to come out of this issue of perennial emergency relief, um, palliative, is insulting wet. Thank you, sir. Any second to the amendment? Yes, Senator Abbas. Mr. President, you colleagues, I stand to second the motion as moved by uh, distinguished Senator Bob Boise uh, that uh, the prayer should read as Federal Minister of Work uh, to consider dredging, the silty and channelization of the Benue and Niger, River Niger. I so second. Yes, the prayer, prayer three has been amended to include channelization, the silting, and dredging of both River Benue and River Niger in order to, and its tributaries, in order to provide a lasting solution to the perennial flooding problems in those areas affected in the country. Those in support of the amended prayer three say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Prayer 4, mandate the Senate Committee on Environment to conduct an urgent assessment of the affected areas and report back to the Senate with recommendations for a permanent solution to this recurring disaster that has long hindered the development and welfare of the good people of the South South region. Those in favor of prayer 4 say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. So, uh, the, uh, so the clock, where you see Delta, you put South South. Addi additional prayer. Okay, let's uh, let's start from the uh, younger younger ones to the elder. So we start with Senator Neida. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished the President, for already creating the Ministry of uh, Regional Development. Uh, uh, you know, which in essence means that. All these developmental, uh, regional developmental agencies will be coalesced into one uh, to be managed by the uh, Federal Ministry of Regional Development. Therefore, I invite the leader of the Senate to proceed to move a motion for us to go into the Committee of the Whole for clause by clause consideration. Mr. President, I so move. Yes, the minority leader. I support the motion that the Senate goes into the Committee of the Whole to consider the report. I so second. No, his motion was that he so moves. So I thought, I thought you would say, I so second. Then, then the members would that Those in support of the motion are moved by the leader. Say, aye. Those again say, nay. So we also support. 